bus, her body is covered with famous faces. I love Stevie Wonder. I think that's so cool. But you won't believe what body part she's tattooing now. And the naked newscast creating its own sexy headlines. It's just nudity, it's just nudity, that's all. Coming up on Ripley's. It matters to our children. Julia Ganussi's skin blistered whenever she went out into the sun. She did everything she could to find a way to remove the scars, yet she was never, ever happy with the results. That is, until she got a tattoo. And then another, and another, and another. Art collector Julia Ganussi has spent the last nine years and over $80,000 acquiring an incredible body of art. When people walk up to me and see this artwork, they're just astonished. They can't believe it. They want to see more. Believe it or not, the art in question is Julia herself, because she's the world's most tattooed woman. She's about to reveal painful tattoos in a place that you'll need to see to believe. I'm a very compulsive person. Once I set my mind to something, I just don't give up. Tattoo-free most of her life, Julia never gave much thought to the world of skin art. But this sun-loving golden girl was about to undergo a startling transformation. At 35, Julia was diagnosed with prophyria, a rare skin disorder that leaves the skin so sensitive, even a simple walk outside burns flesh. Sunlight causes blistering. And I was scarring my skin badly. I said, there must be a remedy. Self-conscious of the spreading scars, Julia, desperate to find a solution, turned to tattooing as a kind of permanent body makeup. I started with the leg, just to see how it would work first, to see if my skin would accept the ink. And so we started with the leg with an octopus. The results ignited an obsession for Julia. And the tattooing went way beyond cover-up. Julia was on a mission to become the world's most tattooed woman. The legs were just the beginning. The inking continued, spreading to her stomach, then her arms, and then her back. Now Julia's body art depicts everything from jungle scenes to her favorite actors. Mostly I have chosen people that I've admired, like Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Other favorites include the Three Stooges, the Munsters, the Jetsons, Winnie the Pooh and Friends, and the Seven Dwarfs. In fact, Julia became so obsessed with inking her skin, she finally did the unthinkable. Julia tattooed her face. Well, actually, I never had the thought of doing my face in the beginning of tattooing. I didn't plan it out. It just, the ideas came to me, and then the idea of the face came later as the skin condition was worsening with me of the face. Having covered herself with makeup for the day, Julia is now ready to share her true self. Appearing on Ripley's is the first time that I have actually revealed myself in two different ways. Nine years and 400 tattoos later, the transformation has taken Julia from this to this. And Julia never gets tired of the attention. They love it. Most people love it. They really do when they get close to me and see the beautiful artwork. Even They'll come up to me and say, wow, that is gorgeous. 